Skål. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is feeling awesome today. Today I have a rum review for you guys and I'm trying a new rum out that I have never tried before. Um, if you follow my Instagram channel you have seen, probably seen the story, so you know what kind of rum this is. But I recently had a birthday and my children, my beautiful, beautiful daughters, had um, actually bought some very, very lovely gifts for me. And um, this was one of them. So, this is the Run Esclavo. Um, in this pack is a 12 year old, which we're gonna be doing today. There's also a 15 year old, and there's also an XO. So, but that's gonna be the upcoming videos. Today, we're gonna be looking at the 12 year old. Um, I just have my notes here. Um, it cost around 270 Danish crowns for uh, 70 centiliters, and it is 40% alcohol. Um, 270 Danish crowns is about 27 pounds, maybe 30, 35 euros dollars, give or take a little bit. I actually couldn't find anywhere, which was a little bit weird, um, if it was chill filled and if it was artificially colored, but my guess... Uh, what I would uh, guess if I had to if I had to is that it's probably both artificially colored and chill filtered so but if you know if this is artificially colored and chill filtered please leave a comment down below that would really mean a lot to me um, this is a uh, Spanish style Solero rum from the Republic Republic of Dominican um, yeah really um, really exciting I actually like the bottle a lot it's um, in my opinion uh, not something uh, the shape of it and and the uh, label isn't something that you usually see in both rum and um, and uh, and whiskey the style of it is just there's something exclusive about it. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe that's a bad thing because they forgot to spend some time on the actual rum. Maybe it's a good thing. Um, so Esclavo means slave. And the reason they call it Esclavo is to kind of uh, remember and kind of, um, yeah, kind of remember uh, all the slaves that had to, back in the day, way back in the day, that had to pay the ultimate sacrifice to continue making rum and these things. Uh, so yeah, that's why they call it this. A little bit sad, but I think it's a good thing that they, well, try and do something. Yeah. Um, let's see what I've got more here today on this yeah, uh, the distillery is called Oliver and Oliver, and of course, they used American white oak barrels to uh, age this in. Yeah, but it's in Solero system rum, just so you're sure about that. There's no sponsored content in this video, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. I have my beautiful Luigi Bordemioli glass here. So just a little sip it's only 40 percent so of course we don't need any um water or anything mm, color quite dark actually dark amber um the leg is heavy quite heavy actually yeah It's quite, um, it's not, it's not powerful on the alcohol, but there's a little, there's some sharpness there and there's actually some uh, alcohol 
actually add alcohol nose to it. Sometimes, normally, the alcohol just gives it some sharpness and some power. This time you can actually smell the alcohol. I hope you know, you, I hope you know what I mean by that, but you can smell the alcohol like you would in a, um, which would is very appropriate because of the time now in a hand, hand uh, alcohol you used to uh, clean your fingers with, that kind of smell is actually in here. Yeah, it definitely is. There's also a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla. There's actually a little bit of... Um, um, of, uh, of wood, of oak, of just a wood feel. But that's pretty much what's there, because the alcohol um, notes is actually the most dominant here. So yeah, not good so far. But cheers, let's go. So you can't taste the alcohol the same way you can smell it. Uh, the palate is quite uh, boring. There's almost no flavor, uh, only a little bit of um, a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of uh, of uh, vanilla and honey. And the finish is has a little bit more power, but not a lot. There's a little bit of sharpness, and then there is vanilla and honey sweetness. It's a little bit mouth watering. There's a little bit of um, Mm, of oiliness but only a little bit and um yeah that's pretty much it it's quite um it's quite boring actually um mm, yeah it's not bad it's just not anything special um and the flavor the note It's funny because that uh, you can still smell the alcohol even though you can't taste it when you when you drink it but but it's definitely there I don't think I've ever tried that in a rum before where you can actually smell the alcohol normally you can sense it and you can feel it because it's powerful and and, and it's a little bit sharp and all that but here you can actually the alcohol smell is there The palette has a little bit of uh, bitterness on the side of that. Uh, just have a little bit of uh, vanilla and honey sweetness and on the side of that there's actually a little bit of bitterness. The finish has that too but not a lot and it, it quite quickly goes away because there's more honey and vanilla sweetness there than there is in the palette. So you kind of almost don't, but it's there and they're all, there's actually also something else. And I'm not sure what that is, but there's something, it feels like there's something there that shouldn't be there. I don't know how to explain that. There's just a flavor at the finish that Not the same flavor, but in the same way as when, if you watch my beer reviews, you know that sometimes they say that lagers and pilsners have some kind of dirty dishwasher water taste to it, and that's something that shouldn't be there. Uh, this one, this thing is, is, is not the same flavor or the same taste, but there's something there that shouldn't be there, some, something unclean. That's what it feels like. It feels like there's something unclean there. That's too bad, actually. That actually takes it... 
down a lot um, it's a very easy drinking rum so if you're a beginner and it's actually very cheap also so maybe that's a good thing if you if you don't usually drink rum then you probably could easily try this but there's some bitterness at the palate and there's something wrong with the finish there's there's something there that shouldn't be there, I think, and I can't explain what it is. But um, because of that, and because of the alcohol nose, the alcohol aromas when you nose it, I will be only giving this a 5. So quite low for me. I usually always give quite high um, because I just love these uh, spirits. I don't think I've ever given a rum or a whiskey below five. I can't remember, so I might have, but I know I have with the beers. Mm, so a five for the run is Clavo 12 year old. Uh, so yeah, not a good rum actually. Uh, that's the video for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also leave a comment down below. Um, I would really appreciate any comments and I will respond to all of them. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and make sure to hit that notification button and check all. If you're on a phone, go into your settings and uh, turn on settings from YouTube. That would really mean a lot to me just to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Also, check out my Instagram account. It is Dongan underscore. If you like what you see there, give me a follow. That would really mean a lot to me as well. Uh, just as a side note to tell you why you might want to uh, follow me on Instagram when there's a new series of videos or the next couple of videos I do I always make a story in there like I did with these I made a story with these so you can see kind of what's coming next um, yeah that's it for the video today uh, stay safe stay healthy and stay strong I will see you next time bye bye